we are back with another Water Wing Waves video. We are Water Wing playing Water Wing Waves. What I wanted to go over is in Water Wing Waves, we are getting a new level of TOA. So with this new level of TOA, we don't really know the specifics yet. We know it's three red looking towers, three hazard towers. I assume those three hazard, those three towers, you're going to need three teams of three in total to complete. The reason why I want to cover this version of TOA is I'm seeing a lot of comments saying, well, I haven't even cleared the original TOA yet. What what can I do? Whatever. And I think there are some general tips and there's two main strategies that you can use to clear TOA. Um, that is not that bad because when the game first came out, a lot of people, including myself at the time, we were not aware. Uh, everyone said you need three fully teams of three. You need one DPS, one sustain, and then one support times three. So you need three of those. I don't know why I just said that. Whatever. The point is that they said you needed three, but that is not the case. So I'm going to showcase you what we did on this account and how we cleared TOA using uh, one strategy and what the other strategy is because it is very simple. So I'm going to move my big head over here. And I'm actually going to move myself up a little bit so you can see the Vigor counter. So the big thing about uh, Widowing Waves is they have this thing called Vigor. Now, Vigor is pretty much the energy that your character can use. So each tower has, well, let me not say each tower. Excuse me, let me rephrase that. The left tower and the right tower have four stages. Uh, this stage costs one Vigor. This costs two. This costs three. This costs four. You can see by the numbers on the side there, or even by the numbers over here. So... Uh, if I go to any random stage, let's do this. I'm going to click start challenge. As again, you can see uh, everyone has 10. So if I wanted to pick Calchero for whatever reason, if, if you like having an unoptimized character or whatever, you know, you can use Calchero, whatever. So 10 vigor. He does floor one and then goes from 10 to nine. I go to floor two. Let's just say right now, two. he has 10 vigor because I didn't actually start that. It goes from 10 to eight, etc. You get the point. So the middle tower the each floor is five cost so if you're using the same team in the floor twice how we did here which is strategy number one that i'm going to show you that is 10 vigor these characters are done you cannot use them anywhere else if i see start challenge they're all at zero now i can use them here because obviously this is the power that they're on let's say if i wanted to go down here if i click on jinsi it will say insufficient so you don't have enough vigor for her so Ethan, why are you saying you only need um, two teams as opposed to the three? Well, this is very simple. If you do some quick maths, right, the last floor is going to be the hardest floor of tower uh, for the left and right sides, right? So again, these are three, two, one, and then this is four. If you use all of these, this comes out to 10. And then if I use Changli, Yinlin, Verena all here, I'm screwed because then I have no other people for this side. But if I spread it and I only use uh, Changli, Verena, Yinlin on the bottom floor, so on floor four on the left and floor four on the right, that is only eight vigor costs as opposed to the full 10. Now, I cannot bring those three characters into the middle hazard tower, but that's not a problem because I have the hazard tower already covered locked down with Jinsi. So with that eight vigor, you're then saying, okay, what can I do with the other two? Simple. You could either use it on one of these, this floor on both sides or just a level two floor. So, okay. Now what do I do for level one, two, three in total? Level one, two, three in total is what I like to call the floaters. You use floating characters. So for example, Cheng Li was used here on level two because this floor was annoying, right? But these are all floating. We threw Yinlin here as well, just because whatever, extra DPS. And then the third floor, we use Zhang Liao, Mortefi, Jian. Zhang Liao, Mortefi, and Jian, they're not really that very well built. They're built enough to the point where they are usable, but they're not built to the point where they can clear a level four or a hazard tower at level five, bigger. So the whole strategy is you just own in on the middle floor with one same team. So that's 10 vigor right there. You then take one team and then hone in on the left side and hone on the right side with those two. And you still have some leftover vigor and you could be a little bit more flexible with your one, two, and three on each side. And that is how you could 30 easily. You do not need, I repeat, do not listen to these people. You do not need three main teams of three. You're going to need a third team, of course, obviously, but that's a floating team. They don't have to be, they clearly have to have some sort of build to them, right? But also, the great thing about this video game is you could flop around Echo. So, for example, if Yinlin is on Moonlit, and I say, okay, I used all of my Yinlin stuff, now I want to go to Sanhua. I can then take all of this, pump out my level 40 Sanhua, or level 70, excuse me, throw these Echoes on here, 
throw emerald or whatever other weapon we have and then since the those characters don't need this anymore i can mess around with things great thing about toa is the equipment is shared it is not locked it's not like Genshin impacts abyss so don't stress on building a whole other set of supports now sometimes based on the elements uh the toa restrictions they're just gonna change you know what i'm saying i i i could show you gameplay but realistically it's going to change every single toa cycle so it's not really like the biggest deal if you want to see gameplay i have it up on the video on the youtube already but you know pre pretty consistent at least on this side it was pretty easy so that's the first strategy the second strategy is very similar except instead of using two of the same teams here we would only use jinsi team top that's minus five vigor we would then use uh cheng li team bottom that's minus five for them so each of them have five vigor left and then we would go over here use cheng li so you have five you're now using four so you only have one vigor left and then you could use cheng li on the top same thing over here jinsi goes here that's four so now you have one vigor jinsi goes to the top and th that's pretty much how toa is done I i'm a visual person i'm i'm yapping a lot so i just want to like you know people are saying whoa Ethan, he's pulling out the he's pulling out the um the uh the thingy again and i am i also can't spell strat we're just gonna call strat one right so strat one is middle tower middle tower same team minus minus 10 v right that's that's the first strat bam okay cool we'll move this over here and then your left and right tower so we're gonna make this here left and right left and right uh level four same team so you then have minus eight v left over recall lo left over two and now when you have that left over two and then able to mess around and you could pretty much use it wherever you want so you want to use your Cheng Li. let's say this is Cheng Li. you could use it in a level one and a level one or you could use her in a level two just a single level two whatever you prefer it, it it's pretty straightforward it's nothing crazy and then your third team is going to be your flex team flex these flex are going to go through one two and three on both sides and that, that is the first strat or second strat, whichever one I covered first. I don't even remember. Strat number two, it, it's almost exactly the same thing. Again, I can't spell strat, brother. I My brain is lagging today. I'm not going to lie to you. Strat two, boom. Middle tower, two teams. And then you minus 5v each team. And then you're left over with 5v right so then you do left tower left slash right tower okay it was about to see i make sure i can see everything and then you do uh level four left over one vigor and then after that you simply same thing as previously oh i cut off the l l mans you simply just now take those teams Take both teams right here. Oh, oh, brother. I can't. Oh. You take both those teams, and then you use them on level one on each side. And then you have your floating team for two and three. Float. And, and that is how you complete Tower Adversity. Now, the new Tower Adversity, I do have some predictions. I think the new tower adversity, as I said, is going to require three teams of three. I don't think you're going to be able to use floating teams unless your floating teams are absolutely goaded. At that point, it is not considered a floating team. It is just a legitimate team. But utilize these floating teams. Don't just sit there and say, whoa, I can't get this done. I'm using all, I'm using uh, Cheng Li, Verena, Yinlin, and all of here. Now that's minus 10 vigor. That's a whole, that's a whole team down. Like you got this side done, but now what about here and what about here? Now, you could uh, clearly, if you wanted to just bang it out real quick, like run the same team, go through all the floors on both sides, and now say, okay, now I have time to strategize and I have time to figure it out, just so that way you can unlock the other TOA floors. But don't pigeonhole yourself, and don't be under the impression that I, ha I have to build another team. I have to build another team. That is not the case. 
These floater characters don't have to be the best built characters ever. Like this Geon is it's, it's good. Like it's good. It's it's very good. Uh, honestly, it really is. But the thing is, is it's not to the level of clearing that other floor. The more Teffy, right? We use level 70 more Teffy at 22 over 194. These are, I'm pretty sure these are the echoes I use. I didn't even put on extra echoes on them. I kind of just went in and did whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, that Don't stress. Save your resources. For the new tower, once that drops, that should be dropping tonight. I'll do a video covering that. If it's available ASAP, we'll go in there and we'll see what the deal is. But you want to make sure saving your resources you're playing the game properly if you need coa help go to the twitch exclamation point help in chat we have a form that we fill out i do account recoveries almost every week i try my hardest to do it almost every week and yeah so if you need help let me know with that being said i love you i love your mother a little bit more see you in the next